Clawing its way up through my throat, shredding my vocal cords through streaming tears, and yet. The cry is stolen from my lips. The waves before my mouth remain still and unformed. An unrippled lake glossed over with a deafening silence. Whispers of empathy riding on its breeze. Glimmers of compassion dancing upon its surface. My conscience too sympathetic to simply hear and see and remain motionless. For hearts were never meant not to beat, rather bond in devotion and concern for the faintest surrounding them. But society would rather my heart stay silent, let well enough alone and allow the faint to fade. They've done this to themselves. Unwittingly, many hearts will turn blindly away in silent obedience, allowing the lake to remain still, untouched, silent. I refuse to be one of those, one of the many, for to change this world you may be in it, but you cannot be of it. Emphatically open the lips of empathy, let the words come tumbling out, crashing through the mirror like calm, shattering the surface in a surge of boldness, for we have remained silent in the face of fear for far too long. Mm. Empathy, sympathy, compassion, and kindness. The mind will always recognize these words, for it is designed to do so, yet we, in a sardonic manner, abandon them so readily, allowing self-preservation to be all that fills the cavernous expanse of our thoughts. Selfishness causes blindness in that moment. When a heart becomes cold and crass to the world, it then, in that moment, allows itself to sink to the bottom of the lake. And if I want to do anything, if you want to do anything, if we want to do anything to change the world we live in, then we cannot allow ourselves to sink and leave the lake in its deafening silence.